blades on a SFI drum mower. You, you can take the blades off the left drum, put on the right, right on the left. Once they start to get dull or round off, you're not going to get much more after that. It may give you enough to finish up the field. People say, how long does the blades last? The blades will last you probably until they get dull. So what you want to do is uh, uh, to change the blades, you get your weapon, which is a blade changing tool with your drum mower. And it's pretty easy to do. You got to have some strength. Some people will get a piece of pipe and put on this. Some people will tap this hole to half inch and get a bolt and use that with the with the drill driver. But I'm going to show you what this does. You take this and you insert the probe into this hole here and you pry up. You raise the blade up against the bottom of the disc and slide it out. There's your blade. It's curved on the 3065. To put the blade in, you pry up, take the blade, put it in, pull on it, and that's how you change the blades on a SFI drum mower. Okay, I'm going to show you how to put the mower into the transport position. So I've got to remove my connection link because that's what holds it 90 degrees to the tractor. So I'm going to take this linchpin, hold it in my hand, and I'm going to pull that connection link off and let it drop. Now there's two ways of doing this. I can scoot the mower around or I can have David pull up and go while turning left and you're going to see the mower rotate behind the tractor. Now I have the PTO disconnected to do this. Remember to disconnect your PTO. Take it completely off the mower while you're rotating around the transport or the mowing position. That's the only way it is, unless you take the covers off. I can't do that. Okay, so let's drive forward, David, while turning left, and you see the mower starting to rotate around behind the rear of the tractor. Now you can also move it to the mowing position this way too. So once we get it behind the tractor, what we do, we stop and then we put the transport bar on. Now, I can't get that on there right now, so what I'm going to do is scoot the mower just a little bit where I can get it started a little bit more. I don't want to work real hard at this, so I'm just going to do it a little bit at a time. Once I get it started, then I'm going to scoot the mower to the left and that will slide that transport arm on just like that. And then I'll put my linchpin in and then I'll raise the mower. Go ahead and bring the mower up David. Now here's one thing that's very very critical that you have to do on this mower. This has to be folded forward. Whenever you disconnect the mower, whenever you're transporting, if this is folded back like this, this pin will go all the way back to here when you disconnect. Your top link is, won't reach this hole here to connect. So in order to do that, you raise your jack stand, lower it all the way to the ground, put your lower lift arms on, and you might have enough lift on our center link to reach this. You'll only do it once. So that always folds forward. Next, we put our jack stand down. We level it and the mower is ready to be disconnected.